In this video, trade, we're going to talk about learning to accept the risk in trading. Stay tuned. Hey guys, warm well, welcome to you. So, the title of this video is Learn to Accept the Risk. The reason I want to do this short video is because I think that many traders, and I've got to put myself in this in this kind of category when I was starting out, don't accept the true risk in trading. If you think about things in life, right? Now, I'm going to go from one extreme to the other. When you get in your car and you drive your car to your destination, there's a risk you're going to have a serious accident, potentially die, potentially have a serious injury. It's not a high risk. We're not talking you know, major percentages, obviously it depends on country to country, but there's a risk there. We don't think anything of it because I think the risk is so low. Okay, but the, but the the kind of payoff, if you like, or not the, the payoff, the, the catastrophe is quite high. So the risk reward ratio is really, really low, as in it's not likely to happen. But if it does happen, it's pretty high catastrophe. It's like a plane crash, right? The chance of a plane crash is so, so slim. But let's be honest, a plane crash is never going to be pretty. Now, if we go to the other end of the scale, and let's say you are betting on a rugby match yeah you go in you go into a bookmaker so you're on your phone and you bet you know 50 quid on the result of your favorite team your international team whatever the chance of you winning let's say they're 50 50 and you're probably going to get your money back plus a bit depending on what the odds are obviously and and the team weightings etc but you get the point now there's two different scenarios there they're both unknown scenarios but in both of those scenarios you accept the risk. Now, forget about someone who's got a problem with gambling or forget about some of these, some of these outliers, but for most people, you accept the risk. You accept the risk of the car is gonna be, gonna, gonna have a crash in a car. You accept the risk of losing that. And the probability is a lot different and the payoff's a lot different. But for some reason, when we go into trading, we don't necessarily accept the risk because we go into trading and let's say we're risking 500 pounds on a trade, okay? So we're risking 500 pounds on a trade and we lose that trade. Then we risk 500 pounds on another trade, we lose that trade. The once we get to the third loser in a row, that's Jim. I, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna take speculation guys and say that you probably, when you get to your third loser in a row, if you're day trading, if you're swing trading, things start to change for you, right? Something changes in the chemicals in your brain that says, hmm, I don't like this. I've had three losers in a row. I don't know why I've put a crossover. That's normally for five. <laughs> but let's say three losers in a row, not five. Three losers in a row and things start to change. Why is that? Why don't we accept the risk? The big thing is this, guys. I've just said it. It's accepting the risk. We tend to accept the risk on a singular trade. Okay, now there are some scenarios where we're trading too much size and we kind of discussed that where if you're trading too much size and it hurts to lose it, you must dial it down. But assuming you've got your size down okay and you feel comfortable with it, there's still a point where you're not accepting the true risk of the deal. Because let's say you're trading on a 50% expectancy, forget about the risk water ratio, you've got a pretty high chance of getting three losers in a row, losing 1,500 quid on your next three trades. Now. If that's stinging, then you're not accepting the true risk in the strategy that you're trading. You need to say, okay, what's the likelihood of me having X amount of losers in a row? And I did a video we talked about, we had an automated system that puts up heads and tails of a coin and dramatically you flip the coin often enough, you're gonna get a massive string of heads in a row. So let's say you had 10 losers in a row, just you've got an okay system, even at 60% or 50%, your risk reward ratio is high, whatever. Can you stomach those 10 losers in a row? If the answer is no, then you're not accepting the true risk of your strategy that you're trading. Now, for your swing trader, that might not be the case. It might be, okay, well, I'm doing one trade a month and over a year, I can deal with that. But because it tends to be, as a day trader, the pain's more exaggerated, right? If you do 10 trades in a row, you lose five grand. Like, oh, five grand, but that's the system you were trading. You're not really truly accepting the risk. It's all very well accepting it on a per trade basis and saying, can I afford to lose 500 pounds? Oh yes, I can, it's no problem. All right, but can you afford to lose multiple uh, numbers of that in a row? Because that's the likelihood at some point. If the answer is no, you're not truly accepting the risk. You need to dial down that position size or you need to change your strategy. You need to do something about it. Okay, and then you can trade from a place of freedom. Like when you get into your car, most people get into their car, don't think about, oh man, if I, what if I don't make it? You know, what if I have a pilot? What if an HGV wipes me out? Uh, you know, what if this, what if that? 
most people, I'm sure there's some people do, of course they do, but most people don't think about that. You accept the risk. Same as if you're betting, um, making a bet, uh, bookmakers for a game just for fun, for sport, betting on the international rugby or whatever it may be. You know, you do not bother. You need to get to that same place in trading for the sequence of events. You know, if you drive your car through the first little road out of your drive, let's say down your long drive, and then you're out of the corner on the B road, that's your first bit of risk. You accept that, then you accept going on the A road, then you accept the motorway, then you accept this, then you accept that, uh, and you accept it just as one. Right? There's still odds, the different odds of losing, but you accept it. Whereas trading, we again, we need to accept the whole sequence of events, not just the individual trade. This has caught me out before, guys, which is why I'm kind of doing a video on it, is I've traded and I've thought, okay, that's fine, that's fine. But then when the chips are down and you have a bad run, you, you go, oh, I don't want to lose that amount. I'm not accepting the risk. And it's not true acceptance of it. And you shy away from it, you back off, you trade differently, and you activate the kind of different area in your mind that probably would be activated if you'd lost a significant amount on one trade. So the point is, guys, extrapolate out your worst case scenario, not worst case scenario, but even kind of expect a scenario at some point and then say, how would I feel about it? And take some action to prevent that or to accept that. If you say, you know what, it might happen, I need to be prepared for it. At least if in your mind you're prepared for it, then when those five losers come in a row, you're like, well, okay, I knew it would come at some point and this is it. And it's an acceptance and it's a bit more easier to kind of trade from a from perspective of clarity. All right, guys, take care, whatever you're doing, bye-bye.